Hello and welcome to Omron's Quick Tip Videos. In this video we're going to show you how to use Sysmac Studio's Data Trace, which is useful for finding out why something isn't working right. Basically what happens is you go to Data Trace, add a Data Trace. You can have several different setups to log different events. I've already put one in. We'll open it. And here's what you need to know. These three windows tell you what the display, analog and digital, or analog on top of digital. The second thing you're going to want to know is how do I trigger this trace? This is my start. If I don't set up any trigger, this will trigger my trace. I have a couple of other choices. I can turn this bit on and put in some binary bit from within the program and trigger on the rising or falling edge. I can tell it to start tracing the moment it goes from program to run mode. And those are my three options. The only other real option is right here. I can tell it how many logs before the trigger to keep so that I can see what happened before this trigger event. Now I want to tell it how fast to log. That's here. I can pick single or continuous. I'm going to pick single in this one. I'll do uh, continuous in a different video. The sampling interval I can set by the period of a task by time in milliseconds or by using an instruction in the PLC telling it when to log. This of course could be subscan this one. If I pick task, of course I have to tell it which task, and if it's motion it would be my primary task. So that's my trigger setup. Of course now that I want to log, I would go here, I would hit start. This event would happen. It would log and it would bring me this graph. If I need to blow up the graph, that would be here. Shrink it, fit, what else can I do? I can put independent scaling for these axes. And the last thing I'm going to show you here is that you can import and export the data for later use.